Blessed Advent, as we continue through the book of John. Today we read John chapter 5. I'm Nathan Roberts, and I'm going to be exploring this important story with us. Jesus healing on the Sabbath. After this, there was a festival of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now in Jerusalem, by the Sheep Gate, there is a pool, called in Hebrew Beth Zela, which has five porticos. And these lay many invalids, blind, lame, and paralyzed. One man who had been there ill for 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he had been there a long time, Jesus said to him, Do you want to be made well? The sick man answered him, Sir, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up. And while I'm making my way, someone else steps down ahead of me. Jesus said to him, Stand up, take your mat and walk. At once, the man was made well, and he took up his mat and began to walk. Now that day was a Sabbath day. So the Jews said to the man who had been cured, Is it the Sabbath? Is it not lawful for you to carry your mat? But the man answered them, The man who made me well said to me, Take up your mat and walk. They asked him, Who is the man who said to you, Take it up and walk? Now the man who had been healed did not know who it was, for Jesus had disappeared into the crowd that was there. Later, Jesus found the man in the temple and said to him, See, you have been made well. Do not sin any more, so that nothing worse happens to you. The man went away and told the Jews that it was Jesus who had made him well. Therefore, the Jews started persecuting Jesus, because he was doing such things on the Sabbath day. But Jesus answered them, My father is still working, and I also am working. For this reason, the Jews were seeking all the more to kill him, because he was not only breaking the Sabbath day, but was also calling God his own father, thereby making himself equal to God. Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, the Son can do nothing on his own, but only what he sees the Father doing. For whatever the Father does, the Son does likewise. The Father loves the Son and shows him all that he himself is doing. And he will show him greater works than these, so that you will be astonished. Indeed, just as the Father raises the dead and gives them life, so also the Son gives life to whomever he wishes. The Father judges no one, but has given all judgment to the Son, so that all may honor the Son just as they honor the Father. Anyone who does not honor the Son does not honor the Father who sent him. Very truly I tell you, anyone who hears my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life and does not come under judgment, but has passed from death to life. Very truly I tell you, the hour is coming and is now here when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God and those who hear will live. For just as the Father has given life in himself, so he has granted the Son also to have life in himself. And he has given him authority to execute judgment because he is the Son of Man. Do not be astonished at this, for the hour is coming when all who are in their graves will hear his voice and will come out. Those who have done good to the resurrection of life and those who have done evil to the resurrection of condemnation. I can do nothing on my own. As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just, because I seek to do not my own will, but the will of him who sent me. If I testify about myself, my testimony is not true. There is another who testifies on my behalf, and I know that his testimony to me is true. You sent messengers to John, And he testified to the truth. Not that I accept such human testimony, but I say these things so that you may be saved. He was a burning and a shining lamp, and you were willing to rejoice for a little while in his light. 
but I have a testimony that's greater than John's. The works that the Father has given me to complete, the very works that I am doing, testify on my behalf that the Father has sent me. And the Father who sent me has himself testified on my behalf. You have never heard his voice or seen his form. And you do not have his word abiding in you, because you do not believe in him who he has sent. You search the scriptures because you think that in them you will have eternal life. And it is they that testify on my behalf. Yet you refuse to come to me to have life. I do not accept glory from human beings. But I know that you do not have the love of God in you. I have come in my Father's name, and you do not accept me. If anyone comes in his own name, you will accept him. How can you believe when you accept glory from one another and do not seek the glory that comes from the one who alone is God? Do not think that I will accuse you before the Father. Your accuser is Moses, on whom you have set your hope. If you believed Moses, you would believe me, for he wrote about me. But if you do not believe what he wrote, how will you believe what I say? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In our reading today, Jesus heals a man on the Sabbath day. The Sabbath day is the holy day in the Jewish calendar. One of the laws in the Ten Commandments is that you shall honor the Sabbath. And for thousands of years, the Jewish people decided that this meant they would not do any work on one day of the week. They would rest. They would put down their farming equipment. They would not take their animals out to pasture. They would not cook or clean. They would spend a day in prayer, in worship with their family, enjoying creation, enjoying all that life has to offer outside of work. It's a beautiful tradition. Some Jewish people hold on to it to today. And as we think about our busy, busy lives, it's appealing to think, what if we had one day where we couldn't do any work? I love that idea. I try in my own spiritual practice to take 24 hours to rest, to refresh. It's hard because sometimes ideas, projects pop into my mind, especially when I take time to rest. It feels like there are so many things that I start to see around the house, corners that can be cleaned, projects that I've been sitting there for a long time waiting to be done on my to-do list. And now I have a little bit of time to rest and I think, you know what, I should work on that to-do and I've made a practice of asking myself, is this an emergency? Is this something that must be done today? If it's not, I take out my phone and find a spot on my calendar on one of the other six days. Jesus is on a Sabbath day, a day of rest. He's walking around the capital city of Jerusalem it's a festival weekend, a holiday weekend. And Jesus sees this man who's been ill for 38 years. This man has been sick for longer than Jesus has been alive. And Jesus takes a moment, a break from his rest to heal this man. That to me is a beautiful example of how when something comes up when we're resting, when we have a day off, maybe even during a vacation, we're still called to love. We're still called to reach out to those in an emergency situation. Resting is not an excuse to push pause on loving other people, but it is a chance 
to invest in ourselves and in our family, in our own joy, in our own self-care. Jesus says, my father is still working. When we take a walk, when we take moments of rest to enjoy God's creation, we remember that nature is happening. All these beautiful small miracles, falling snow, a, a river that is beautifully drifting, the changing of the leaves. These beautiful small moments can sometimes get lost in our busy, busy lives, especially for those of us who work indoors, who work on computers. So while this story reminds us that, yes, there are days and times in our rest where we need to respond to an emergency situation, let's also remember that God calls us to rest, that this is an ancient tradition and practice that has been practiced for thousands of years. And despite the fact that our busy lives continue every day, ask yourself, are there 24 hours that I can scratch away in my calendar? Is there an hour a day? Maybe you build up to it. Is there time that you can take away to witness all that our Father in Heaven is doing for us in creation, in our lives, and rest in that?